Hello there, this is City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today I have a layout that I made for the Confessions of a Paper Addict 20 Days of Christmas and Summer Cut Files. Each day of this hop, we got to choose whether we wanted to do a Christmas layout or a summer layout. So for today, I'm doing a summer layout and I'm using the cut file that's called the Inner Wave Cut File. I absolutely love this cut file and it was a lot of fun to work with this cut file. I will put a link to the Confessions of a Paper Addict Etsy shop in the description box. I started out with a piece of navy blue cardstock. I cut a large circle in the center with my large Creative Memories circle cutter and then I layered a piece of white paper on top of the gutted out piece of blue paper and I'm using a collection. It's very old. It's called the Little Yellow Bicycles splash collection and I just love this collection. I love how it comes on summer layouts. I don't have too much left of it but I did have enough to back a cut file so I really love uh, the way that this cut file looks with all the movement in it. I also used one of those pieces of paper. Remember those die cut papers that were in different shapes that were available quite a few years ago now? So the scalloped paper that you see there that was already done and it has all of the different papers of the collection all around the edge. I use the blue circle and I put that on top of that die cut paper and then I'm going to glue the cut file on top of all of those layers. And I'm using some gel glue and I'm covering the cut file really well. And I am attaching it down here very, very carefully. I got a little bit of glue on the blue paper and it doesn't end up showing, but I used a slightly moistened piece of paper towel to clean up the glue a little bit. I wanted to add some more elements to the sky, so I used these dies that were in my stash, and I'm sorry, I don't know the manufacturer of these dies. I've had them for a very long time. And I like them for this layout because I like the way the swirls that are in the clouds remind me of the cut file. I put the glue on the die cut, and then I glued it down to the paper, and then I just cut around the outline. And I think that this paper is probably water, but I thought that it also went well with these clouds. And I wanted to mention that I have finally realized that even though this is day seven of this hop, uh, it airs on the sixth of the month because of the time difference between the United States and Australia. So hopefully I am airing this at the proper time. This time I didn't quite get it right for my first video. Well, I'm playing around with the clouds, trying to figure out where I want to put the clouds and exactly where I want to put the picture. I was going to tuck the picture underneath the crest of that wave, but then I was thinking that that would create some trap space and I really didn't want to have trap space, so I decided that I was going to put the photo to the right of that large wave. And then I also introduced a third cloud. I thought that the third cloud would balance out the embellishments and I'm looking at it and I think it kind of looks nice not backed too but to keep it consistent I did the same thing I backed it and then I cut all around the edge and I hadn't really thought about where I was going to put my title and you can see here that there aren't too many places to put a title I could put one on the bottom and put a dark title over the waves but I thought that the area where the cut file was was a little bit too busy so I will go back to that in a little while. Right now I am kind of cutting apart this Jolie's wave sticker. It said surfs up on the bottom, but I didn't want that. I just wanted the wave part. So I cut those out and then I had to peel off the bits of lettering that remained. I like the way that looks under the picture. I think that it adds a nice little detail. The Little Sun and the Shark are K and Company stickers from a summer collection. I have those stickers on the left. Those are Paper Studio stickers. I didn't like any of the sharks on there, but I did like some of the little fish and the starfish. So I moved everything over a little bit and I'm adding this title. It says Jawsome, and I'm sure that I didn't think of that. I must have remembered it from something that I have seen before, but I thought that would be a cute title for this layout. Uh, this layout is a photo of 
my daughters and we are in a store in Cape Cod. I think we were in Hyannis in Cape Cod and they had an area of the store set up with this shark coming out of the wall and this uh, surfboard. So the kids thought it was cool. I, I thought it was pretty cool. So we took a couple of pictures and I thought that this was a funny one. I had this other set of Peeper Studio stickers that are puffy stickers. So I put some, I think they're sand dollars on either side of the title. And then that meant I had to move the sun. Although I really like the sun in there with the clouds. I decided to put it outside of the circle just to balance the layout a little bit. I didn't want to have absolutely nothing on the white part of the layout. So I added a couple of those squiggly line stickers on the bottom and I put the sun on the top. And those stickers that I use to spell out Jawsome have almost no adhesive on them at all. They really need to be glued down. So I used a little bit of glue and I attached all of them down in their spots. Now I'm going to add a little bit of bling to the layout. These are some iridescent dots. These are also Peeper Studio brand. And I absolutely love these dots and I put them on lots of summer layouts. I just think that they look really pretty. They're iridescent. They can look like bubbles. They look nice on layouts with water. And I just think that they're a really nice touch. So there are three different sizes. So I'm adding all three different sizes. And I just put a few. Well, for me, it's a few. I don't go totally crazy with putting dots in every spot on the layout. I just wanted to scatter them around and have a little bit of bling and just a little bit more detail on the layout. Because the cut file is so detailed, I feel that you don't really need a ton of embellishments on a page with this cut file. But I always feel that photo corners are a good addition to the layout. I just like the little touch of color and the little bit of detail that it adds to the layout. So I'm using my favorite EK Success photo corner punch and I punched out some photo corners that were from a pattern paper that had a light blue dot on it. And I am attaching down those waves with some glue. They didn't seem to be sticking down as well as I would like them to. And I glued on a little jewel that I found on my desk. It must have fallen off of one of the stickers in the sticker pack. And then I thought I would add just a couple more jewels. And you can see I'm going back and forth between the photo corners and the jewels in the background. Now I'm using some chipped sapphire distress oxide and I'm inking the edges of all of the photo corners. And then I use some ATG adhesive and I attach all of them down. And later on when I was making another layout, I saw that I had some dark blue pearls and I added those to the photo corners. Here are some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please look in the description box. There are links to the channels of all the other scrapbookers who are participating in Confessions of a Paper Addict, 20 Days of Christmas and Summer Cut Files for today. And I will see you again soon with another layout for this hop. I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.